Hello everyone, you're Hayden Madison and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are here to do a fun, a fun part of our world adventures Lepacy Gen 2 challenge. I haven't filmed this in a while, so I'm sorry if I'm a little out of date. I've been pre-filming a new series for you guys and getting all those videos uh, recorded and edited and I just haven't uh, filmed this family in a while. You guys haven't noticed because I always have at least three videos in my pocket so that I don't have to film every week. So anyway, here we are. We have moved houses. We are obviously still in Sunset Valley, but Ian and Ebony and Moses and Saf, we have all moved to a new humble abode that I built. I am very, very proud of this house. It started as a box and then I added more boxes. That's how you build houses, right? And so that is what this is. Is it the best looking thing? No, but I built it. I'm very happy with how it turned out and I'm excited to show you all it too. So like I said, in this part, we are here to show off the house and then I also think we are going to have Ian travel to France alone because Ebony needs to stay here with the kids and um, I just, I really wanna go back to France. So that's, that's the plan. But for now, let's start the little house tour. So we live right here um, on this lot. You know, we lived over here. Um, the fam lives over here. You guys know, if you've been watching the series, you know how everything goes. But this is our little humble abode. And we'll just start down here at the first floor and we'll just let's we'll just get going. So when you walk into the door, okay, now that is working. It was not working before. So when you walk in through the front door, you have a little entryway. I tried to make it look like two adventurers, well one adventurer and an Egyptian woman live here so when you walk in you have some of the world adventures stuff we have some pictures over here that we'll get to when we get closer um, we have this little built-in for bookcases the dining room table the table is indeed something that came from world adventures we have our Egyptian little thing over here pictures very very lived in I will say that very lived in house and then over here you actually have our little oops I don't have all the lights on turn on all lights okay so in through here you have the treasure room so you have stuff from Egypt from China over here I mean we have a picture over here of China um, the hot springs, I believe, is what that is. And then through here, you have a little half bath downstairs. I added this little extra security thing, kind of like this is a secure room. It does suck that the door to the bathroom is through here, but I couldn't fit it on the outside. So that's just how it is. Uh, over here, you have the kitchen. We have our wine or nectary, apologies, our nectar racks the kitchen, our little fortune cookies, and yeah. So it's nothing too fancy. We have another picture over here of a tomb, which is fun. Um, over here you have the sunset in Egypt. The flowers make me think China, actually. So I think this is China. Oh yeah, because that's the little dragon thing. I had so much fun looking at the pictures that we took. It was so much fun. Like, oh my goodness, we took so many pictures. There's another one from China, Egypt, obviously, right above the kids' is high chairs. And then in here, you have the pictures that Ian's painted of Ebony with Mo and, of course, Pregnant. Um, speaking of, he is hanging out here with Mo right now. And then we'll head upstairs in a second, but through here is where Ian's office is. So you have his stuff to train martial arts. I kind of wanted to make an oasis in the backyard for martial arts training. Um, so I might do that, but for right now, this is kind of what it looks like. 
I wasn't too sure, honestly. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, hopefully we will be finishing up this Let's Play in a, by part 35, so we're getting close to the end. I'm probably gonna start playing some of the days in town off camera, just so we can kind of age up the twins and everything like that. Because in all honesty, I'm getting a little antsy for the next generation. But you come up these stairs, and over here, you have a bathroom. This is the kids' bathroom. Um, and then through here, you have Moses' room. Super cute, orange, blue. Very, very cute for a little Mo. Through here, you have the master bedroom. You have this picture over here of Ebony on their marriage night when they accidentally got knocked up with the twinnies. Then you have, of course, France and Egypt. And then Ebony is asleep. Through here is their master bedroom. And it actually has a door to Saf's room as well. So this is little Safira's room. You can tell who my favorite is. I really just wanted a girl, so obviously, yes. And then, of course, little Saf. She's adorable. So that is the entire house outside. This is kind of like where I wanted to make the little oasis for martial arts. I might do that, honestly. I'm kind of really thinking about it, leaning towards it. Uh, and then over here, we just have some stuff for the kiddos to play on when they come of age. So, he is down here right now, just feeding little Moses. I guess they were both up early. He is going star crazy. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Do you need to finish anything? No. So, he's already finished his books. And I think we're just going to get ready to go to... Friends, I just really I miss traveling because we couldn't travel with when she was pregnant with Mo and Saf. So I just want to travel. I just want to travel, and they are so stinking cute. Can y'all cuddle for me, please? I want a little picture of y'all cuddling. Oh, my little boys. Honestly, I really thought I would have like Safira be the uh, person like we kind of continued with, but I truly love Mo. I know I was kind of like, I really want girls. I'm tired of boys. But now that we have a girl, I really love the boys. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, feel free to call me whatever you want, but that's just how I feel, so. Let's come over here and take care of Sophia because she is very hungry. Mom is still fast asleep. I know she really wants to have another baby. And I have said in the past that I think this is a two baby family. Um, I think twins was perfect for them because we have them. We got them out of the way. But then one of you guys commented that you could see this family having six children and you got me thinking and i kind of like the fact that they might they, they, they that that they could have six kids you know I, i've started to consider it but then we live in a very small house and i don't know if i want to build another house but then if i build another house i could build a little martial arts oasis so i don't really know i really was very content with the two kids who is this in our yard it's Moses! Oh my goodness! I was like, uh, what? He's sliding. You should really have a parent out here. Um, but I was really content with the two of them, and now I kind of want a third one. So, yeah, do with that what you will. Let's come over here and see what Moses is doing. He's really young to just be, to just be out here on his own, but he is also so cute. Oh my goodness, Moses. I love you. I love you. Um, let's see. Mommy, can you wakey wakey eggs and bakey? Do you work today? You don't. You have today off. Is it because you just gave birth? Yeah. And that's another thing. I do want, I do want Ebony to actually, you know, improve in her career, but, and she won't be able to do that if she's always having kids. I mean, I don't know. It's a lot to think about, but she's gonna come out and take care of her little baby. 
she does age up in seven days these two are going to be adults before long oh we haven't done this in so long you guys he's practicing his martial arts wow it has been so so long Alrighty, I'm sending Ebony to go discuss the limits, and Ian is going to give Mo a bath. Okay, Moses loves the outdoors. I feel like we need to just set that in stone right now. He is constantly going outside now that he has a big backyard. Oh, okay. He already does. He already likes the outdoors. Alright, well, easy for us. I don't need to worry about giving him that trait because he already has it, and he is living up to his name. Look at him. He is coming back outside to slide on the slide. Wow. Little Moses, you just love being outdoors. Also, this is such a cute little shirt for him. He's adorable. Alrighty, I think we are going to admire him. Yes, yes. Now, I think we are going to travel. Uh, we're going to start... We're gonna head off to France again. I We can't bring the twins, which, why would you? I mean, really, why would you wanna bring the kids? But we're gonna go to France. We're just gonna go for six days, and we'll go to France for six days, and then we'll come home, and I'll play a couple days off camera, and then we'll age up the babies when we get back from France. Um, and I kinda feel like we should bring Ebony and I feel like we should bring Ebony so that we can kind of have like a belated honeymoon. Maybe Saf and Mo, you know, maybe Julian and Zelda. I almost forgot her name, but maybe, you know what, let's just say that. Let's say Safira and Moses went to Julian and Zelda's place for three months I guess like they're gonna be in France for a little while so let's just say they're gonna take their belated honeymoon they're going to France and they might they might they might make another baby I don't know I don't know I I just love having babies in the sims but they two is plenty two is plenty we should stop at two Ma'am, you can't take the baby with you. Did she take the baby with her? I guess we're about to find out. But while I wait for this to load, I do want to have a serious discussion with you guys about Season 3 or Gen 3 of this Let's Play. I would love to know what way you guys are leaning for careers. I know what career I want Saf to go in. I want her to follow her dad's artistic route, and I want her to become an in, an architectural designer. Is that what the career is called? I want to do that career. I played with it once before, and I really enjoyed it, but that was on my old computer, um, and I've not played it. On, I haven't played it in probably about five or seven years. So I. That's what I would love to have Saf do, is play the architectural design career. But I don't know what I want Moses to do. Obviously, a firefighter seems like the first thing to go to, but I don't know if I actually want to do that for him. So I would love to hear your guys' opinions on what you would love to see Moses do. Obviously, I kind of want to do some of the less played careers. Um, stylist is a contender if you guys want me to do stylist. However, that is a really time-consuming job, so it does it does scare me, okay? But I would love if you would got I would love if you guys would just tell me in the comment section what kind of career you want Moses to go into. I'm imagining he will I don't know, do the like the scraps, the inventing because his sister's going to do like the sketching. Like I said, I really don't know what idea and what way I want Moses to go in Gen 3. So please, I will consider every and all comment that you guys suggest because I really don't know what I want Moses to do. Safira is very, very easy. I, I kind of already have an idea with who I want her to date. And yes, it's 
it's Scotty's son. I would love for her to get with Scotty's son. Um, and if that's the case, then Safira is probably not going to be the heir. Moses will most likely be the heir. Like, honestly, I'm open to anything you guys want to say, what you want to see in Gen 3, because I really, at this point in time, do not know what we will be doing. I built Saf and Moses a home, so I know where they'll be living. I just don't know for sure what we will be doing. So please, like I said, comment anything you want to see in Gen 3. If what you want me to focus on, do you want me to make the monsters? I've never done that before. I've really never explored anything with ambitions except for the investigator career, which I would, if I'm honest, prefer to not do. And I've also uh, done the firefighter career a couple of times. So just please let me know what you guys want to see in Gen 3. Um, and now that that's done, we can take in France. We can take in France. I'm so happy to be back and traveling. It has been so long since we were here or anywhere, honestly. It's been a long time since we were anywhere in France. Okay, why did she just gain points? Did she want to come to France? I think she did. Help! It turns out there may have been a reason my secret garden was sealed off. It is haunted. Do you think you could communicate with the apparition for me? Perhaps find out what it wants, what it will take to for what it will take for it to leave, or perhaps when it's willing to pay rent? The tombstone is in the garden. Okay, this is a continuation of what we did last time we were here. If y'all can remember back to then, because it's been a while. But let's have him put on his little clothes and he's thinking of his son. Oh, he probably misses him. And let us go do this apparition. Um, communicate with the apparition. Where do I need to go? The graveyard, yeah? Is that what I need to do? It's tombstone is in the garden. Oh, in the garden of the house, I bet. Okay. So let's come over here with Ebony. She is our wife, uh, and this is our belated honeymoon. So let's just have her come up here. And it is in the secret garden. Okay, so I guess we need to come over here and visit the house. They better be here. Thank you, ma'am. She is such a lovely, welcoming person. Okay, so we need to come over here and mourn the tombstone, I guess. I'm mourning it. All right. Uh, upon mourning at the tombstone, a voice whispers on the wind, my beloved adored pomegranate. She loved to eat them after every meal. I believe the garden would truly be complete if pomegranates were planted in my garden. If this were done, I believe I'll be able to finally rest. So I need to bring four pomegranates to him. I don't have four pomegranates. All right, love. I gotta go adventure. So why don't you make some friends? Uh, the cafe general store i wonder if we could find some here pomegranates i feel like are really hard to find though but we will come by and see what we can get i think she is just going to talk to little miss leia leah maybe we could learn some songs from her maybe talk about family because now we actually have kids to do that with Oh, she thinks Ebony's attractive. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, and he, speaking of her family, here's her son, little Remy. Oh, she's going to play tag. She's, she's having fun. That's good. We'll go to a campsite tonight. Okay, so it's not there. But we'll go to a campsite tonight and you know, camp out, have some romance, but we do need to get some pomegranates. We will come by from Little Miss birthday because she is the last one we need to look at. This probably should have been the first place we came, in all honesty. Probably should have came here first, but I just did not want to see Miss Long Nose Witch tip of her nose birthday. We have pomegranate pie. 
which I'll buy two of those just because we're going camping. So yeah, I'll buy two of those, but we don't have any pomegranates. So I don't think we can do this one because I don't have any pomegranates. Well, I'm not going to Egypt. I didn't get any in Egypt. I'm not going back to Egypt for that one, okay? <laughs> we were in Egypt for a long time. I'm a little Egypt out. It hurts me to say it because I do truly love Egypt, but I am okay not going back for a little while, just to be honest with you. Check for adventures. There we go. Okay, so the Lost Library of Landgrab. This is the big tomb here in France. Your interviews revealed that Admiral Landgrab was also studying the history of nectar nearly 60 years ago, and that he may have notes about what he learned. Unfortunately, Landgrab was a rampant conspiracy theorist and worry worked, and his home was shut tighter than Napoleon's tomb. Take this key to his library, and try to find the papers it should be near the front of his home please be careful okay we will totally do that but we'll start tomorrow for now i am going to have him go to a campsite set up the camp for his little wifey we'll go to the rose campground um and you know Maybe they'll woohoo. I just, I don't want her to get pregnant. And I remember how fertile she is. But this is like their little belated honeymoon. So they should really enjoy. They should enjoy what they have together. And she also has the same thing. So yeah, we'll both go into the library. That sounds like fi that's fine with me. I want them to do some adventures together. So. I don't know why they both have the same into the library thing, but okay. Now, where is that overpriced tent that I ax I purchased? Because I, I had never seen anybody purchase it. And yes, I'm disappointed in it. Where is my overpriced tent? You better be here. You were all, all of my points. Are you kidding me? Y'all, I don't see our tent. You know, sometimes it feels like the world is telling you no. We wasted all of our ancient coins on this tent and now we don't even have it. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. He also wants to have a child with Ebony. He wants to have a child with Ebony, and she wants to have another child. So, I am going to let them woohoo tonight. And if they get pregnant and have a baby, they get pregnant and they have another baby. I still have names. So, yeah. Let's be a little romantic. Um, I also would love for you to give her a little gift. Where is that? Where can you give a gift? Okay, I guess we can just give her this piece of pomegranate pie. Why don't you light the fire? And then you can come sit at the little fire pit. Oh, what are y'all doing? Okay, they're gonna start their day off with a little woohoo and then they'll eat their pomegranate pie. I bought because I thought it would be funny. We can't find pomegranates, but we can ha find pomegranate pie. I don't think that little ghost will approve, but alas. And now, Hey, y'all were supposed to start your night off with a woohoo. Get back in there, and then you guys can come sit at this fire. Oh my goodness. These two. These two. I missed. I missed this chaotic little family. Would you sit down, please, and eat your pomegranate pie together, you cuties who are giving me a run for my money when it comes to a headache, okay? cute cute a belated it's a very belated honeymoon they have like two year olds now but it is a honeymoon nonetheless and like look at this view you guys oh my goodness it is such this is such i'm constantly reminded of why i love this pack i'm truly honest i really really am 
Okay, so what can we do? Can you guys sing Jetame? Jetame? I don't know. Oh, she has to wash dishes. It's fine. Y'all will sing together. Oh, they're singing. And we're singing, we're singing. This was more of a chill part. They're going to woohoo again? No, they're just being autonomously romantic. Ugh, I love them. But I know this was a little bit more of a slower part. Not too much has happened, but we are back in France for a little bit of a belated honeymoon. And they're going to do a tomb. So now that I'm thinking about that, it's, this is part 29. We probably won't have this done by part 35, but part 40 is probably going to be the last part of this season. Oh my goodness, these two are so autonomously romantic. Alrighty, I need you guys to, let's go do another woohoo, because this is their belated honeymoon. Woohoo is like all y'all do on your honeymoons, right? Like that's, it's in the book, like it is in, by law, that is like the only thing you're permitted to do in a honeymoon. Hey, no, you're staying here for the night. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Please, just woohoo and sleep in this tent. Alrighty, they're asleep. I'm ending this part on this view right here of this fire. So, thank you guys so much for watching this part. I'm sorry if it was a little chaotic. Like I said, I haven't filmed Sims videos in a little while. Well, Sims 3 content. I've just been playing a lot of Wizard 101 and my whole controls are like messed up in my brain like I don't know what I was supposed to do so I hope you guys liked this part and I hope to read your comments on what you would love to see for gen 3 and yeah gen 3 will be here before we know it which is kind of crazy to think about like right now it is a long way away like to me it part 40 feels like it's a long way away but it's really not <laughs> it'll be here really quick so anyway thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you all in the next episode adios au revoir salut hey dude and goodbye